possible treating us as if we're still in the nursery? It doesn't bother you. It doesn't bother me. I suppose you can't really blame them. I mean, they think back to when they were our age. And they don't realize how much more advanced we are. And I think about all the wonderful discussions we've had. Oh, I, I almost forgot I was going to bring you some more pictures. These are fine, thanks. Are you sure you don't want some more? I mean, you just brought me some new ones. Maybe later. I remember when I got that. I won it. I bet you'll be at me five ice cream cones. We've been playing ping pong. We'd have the most heavenly times. But we'd finish up with ice cream at the Delphi or the Oasis. More Jews were allowed. There were always a lot of boys, and we'd laugh and joke. I'd like to go back to it for a few days or a week. But I know afterwards I'd be bored to death. I want to be a journalist or something. I love to write. What do you want to do? Uh, I want to go out, work at a farm or something. A job that doesn't take much for it. You shouldn't talk that way. You've got the most awful inferiority complex. Oh, I'm not smart. That is a true. You're a million times better than I am at dozens of things. Arithmetic and algebra. Oh, you're a million times better than I am at algebra. You like Margot, don't you? Right from the start, you liked her. Liked her much better than me. Well, that's all right. Everyone feels that way. Margo is so good. She's so sweet and bright and, and beautiful. And I'm not. I wouldn't say that. <laughs> no, I'm not. I, I know quite well that I'm not a beauty. I never have been and never shall be. I don't agree at all. I think you're pretty. Is it true? And I think you've changed from that start up. I have. I used to think you were awful noisy. <laughs> what do you think now, Peter? How have I changed? You're quieter. <laughs> well, I'm glad you don't just hate me. Never said that. I bet when you get out of here, you'll never think of me again. That's crazy. I bet when you get back with all your friends, you'll say, hmm, now what did I ever see in that place, quack, quack? I'm happy. Peter, of course you do. Everyone has friends. I don't. I don't want any. I mean, you just find love. Does that mean that you can get along without me? I think of myself as your friend. Uh, they were like, you'd be different. Um, have you ever kissed a girl? Yes. Once? That picture is crooked. Was she pretty? Huh? The girl you kissed. I don't know. I was blindfolded, was at a party, uh, one of those kissing games. Well, I wouldn't say those would count, would you? Didn't for me. Well, I've been kissed twice. Once a man I'd never met kissed me on the cheek after he picked me up off the ice and I was crying. And the other one was Mr. Koopas, a friend of my father's who kissed my hand. But you wouldn't say those would count, would you? I wouldn't say so. I bet that Marco would never kiss anyone unless you were engaged to them. And I know quite well that Mother never touched a man unless she met, until she met him. I don't know. Things are so different now. What do you think? Do you think a girl shouldn't kiss anyone unless you were engaged to them or something? It's so hard to think what to do when you have the entire world falling around our ears and you think 
You don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. What do you think? I think it depends on the girl. Um, some girls, anything they do is... Nine o'clock. You won't let them stop you from coming? No. I might bring my diary sometime. There's a lot I want to talk over with you. There's a lot about you. What kind of things? Well, I wouldn't want you to read something. I always thought you were nothing. Just the way you thought about me. Did you change your mind the way I changed my mind about you? Wait.